Yeah, and she's had a shot off. And at least I suppose St. Martins haven't had to wait as long as uh, Galtier did have to wait in, uh, in, get, in getting a shot at the post as such. Quick puck out. So the puck out taken by Jolene Bradley to Brown and Anthony Cassidy. And up it goes first Tina Hanna. Tina, of course, of, uh, originally from the Nave Breed Club in Offaly and uh, won an All-Ireland Premier Junior and intermediate title with Offaly back a number of years ago. But, uh, Tina now well ensconced due to love up in uh, <laughs> Schlock Neil. Went to Australia, I believe, and came back with a dairy boyfriend. Oh, what do you make of that? You, you think you'd leave home and find someone from abroad, but no, you meet someone from down the road. <laughs> Schlock Nino is a little bit further than down the road <laughs> from since they breed, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, near enough, near enough. Yeah. Tina, of course, was a uh, player of the match last year when we uh, saw Schlock Neil take on Sarsfields of Galway up in Clonus. It was uh, the second year in a row that they had met. So a bit of a change of opposition for Schlock Neil as the rain, now with a little bit of a breeze behind it floats in from the hill 16 and down to the Davin stand and that's obviously difficult and Mike Darcy as well and everybody else as they attack the hill 16 end as that ball came in well lovely hockey stroke was played inside but uh, it's Schlappi to come out with it and it's in the hands of Louise Dugan Dugan though, let it slip and eventually it's played over a side where the other number 10 Amy Cardiff is able to play a lovely bit of play with it and get it into her hand in a grasp and the two number 10s come to blow but Cardiff is still on their bike could flick it inside here Emma Codd may have an opportunity trying to get away Emma Codd is still going Codd is still on her bike shot oh it's gone over the bar and that should have been in the net really definitely she definitely went for goal there and I think she just might have just right above the post instead but that was a good opportunity now for them to paint the net with the back of that well, we see that Emma Codd can maybe use a bit of pace there to be able to get inside but I would have thought that should have rattled the back of uh, Jolene Bradley's net but Bradley had to play a short puck out and it looks like all the tactics here are just withdraw and let uh, Schlock Neil have the ball and then maybe engage them when they come across the halfway line that seems to be JJ Doyle's instruction of course JJ led Wexford to three in a row of uh, All-Ireland titles back from 2010 to 2012 and now currently of course involved with Davy Fitzgerald as manager or as a coach and selector with the Wexford senior hurlers as that ball comes in from distance but it's gone out to the left and wide there from a Schlock Neil point of view and uh, that shot came in there from Eilish Cassidy. so it remains here 1-1-1 one, one to one. if you are watching you're tuned uh, to uh, AIB's coverage of the All-Ireland Camogie Senior Club final between Schlock Neil at Derry and St Martins at Wexford and it's available on Facebook or YouTube and if you're especially watching on Facebook drop a comment underneath let us know where in the world you're listening and uh, we'll give a shout out to you during the game as, uh, this game struggling maybe to get a little bit of atmosphere in it as Mike 